12th last tribe is Naftali, Argentina. Okay, so anywho, just a list of the tribes in case you didn't know. But anywho, um, I'm going to finish reading. Late in the afternoon, the 12th came to me and said, send the crowd away so they can go to the surrounding villages and countryside and find food and lodging because we are in a remote place here. He replied, you give them something to eat. They answered, we have only five loaves of bread and two fish. Unless we go and buy food for all this crowd, about 5,000 men were there. But he said to his disciples, have them sit down in groups of about 50 each. The disciples did so and everyone sat down. Taking the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke them. Then he gave them to the disciples to, dis to distribute to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. And the disciples picked up 12 basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. <laughs> when you're not greedy, <laughs> when you're not greedy and realize you're not the only one who needs to eat, you're not selfish, you're selfless, you can feed everybody. It's not about quantity. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, who got the most? Oh, I'm ahead of you. Oh, I got this. I'm eating this. I'm eating that. You feel what I'm saying? I, I'm straight. I'm good. It's not about how much you got. It's about how much you can give. You, you got all these material and possessions and y'all got all this shit that's, that's of Satan. That's of the world. And nobody will save their neighbor who's hungry. Who's late on their rent because they caught on. It's not reliable. Okay? Like, I, I'm trying to figure out how is their homelessness and everybody got everything that they need in their crib that surrounds them but nobody got Jesus nobody ain't he's nowhere to be found some people don't bring them up some people be in fear <laughs> like I'm trying to figure out why can't at a time such as this when things go on in the world that this consistently happens Like, I'm really not getting how people are laying on the ground in tents, under creeks, concrete, might I add, just laying there, trying to figure out how they're going to eat. And y'all walking past them, people in corporate buildings, y'all stepping over the bodies. You go clock in to work with your nice suit and your dress. That could be you at any moment. I'm trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to tell you. I'm glad that I was damn near homeless growing up. That I've been through hell. That I didn't have the best life. But I can tell you this. When I was going through the storm, I never gave up. I still was happy when I had less and people think less means you're lacking. No, the less you got, that's the less problems you got to worry about. That's not fake. More money, more problems. That's a true saying. If I give you everything that you always want, tenfold and then some, what room do you have in the kingdom of Christ? I didn't gave you a thing. That's why the person who got the power, the money, the elites, these people in power, People who sit high and look low at the people that's less fortunate. Do you know that you could be, your position could be stripped from you at any time? At any time. That nice car you ride, you riding around in can be taken away at any time. So don't brag, don't boast. Don't be prideful. Don't be egotistical. Um, and know when you die, you're going to be bare, naked. The Most High God don't care about your new, you know, your new, um, your fresh ass pair of J's. 
okay? Nobody cares about that new Michael Kors purse. And all these other dumbass designer companies that y'all get rich, Lord, please forgive me. Do y'all know if y'all stop fucking putting your money into these rich ass companies and buy your own clothes and make your own damn clothes because y'all too lazy. That's why half of y'all gonna have these robots doing y'all laundry and all that shit. Do you not know? Y'all the dumbasses that's a part of fucking this world up. That's why everybody getting judged. That's why babies and kids is floating the fuck around in water as we speak because we got y'all dumbass adults that don't fucking listen. And wondering why everything is happening around you. Y'all not taking this thing life ser called life serious at all. <clears throat> Y'all getting the hip hop industry, the entertainment industry rich. Y'all too lazy to make your own damn clothes. You'd rather go spend two to three thousand dollars. On a designer outfit, then to spend two to three thousand dollars <laughs> on saving somebody's soul, helping somebody get out of darkness into light. A lot of people don't even be needing money, they just need time and conversation. They just need somebody to know somebody that knows somebody. But y'all don't hear me, y'all think it's about material, and it's not. The things that you're purchasing is not important to the Most High God. The things that you think is important to you is not important. Y'all, it's two different time frames. You asked me the Most High was homeless. Didn't need nothing. Probably went the same shit every day helping people. Suffering. To make sure you good. To make sure you don't go through the things that he went through. He never said this journey would be easy. That people won't mock, bully, and ridicule. That's why I keep going. Whether you're wrong, whether you're right, whether you make a mistake, whether you said the wrong things, judge and thou shalt be judged. Okay? But y'all getting all these um designer companies rich. Okay? And guess what? These companies y'all getting rich. Guess what? For example, uh, what's the name of the damn, we got Louis Vuitton, Prada, Cartier, Saint Laurent, Gucci, Dior, Chanel. Okay, so we got all these designer places, right? You feel what I'm saying? all these designer places and y'all making these people rich instead of building generational wealth or fortune y'all too busy worry about putting that new picture online in a new Prada outfit I, I'm, I'm trying to make sense of this of this this shit because it's really blowing me y'all worry about the next Jordan shoe the next Nike shoe that's coming out all these luxury brands, Tommy Hilfiger, racist ass fucking company. What's the name of that company that's promoting um that that promotes sexual things using the kids as as bait? Hold on. Give me one second, y'all. This is a bit off subject, but just give me a minute. Balenciaga. I can never remember this damn demonic fucking line to save my life. I'm so sick of looking at that ugliest word. Like, I don't understand how Balenciaga could be more important in your life than the fact of you saving kids from sex trafficking, human trafficking, molestation, abuse, um, suicide, basically taking their own life up out of here, addiction. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck Balenciaga do for you. Did Balenciaga pay your rent, your bill, feed your children? Got you soaked this month to wash your ass. Y'all constantly steady getting these companies rich and don't know the half of it. Don't know who, 
who came up with the company, who names are tied down, what type of rich craft or voodoo they put on their motherfucking clothes before you purchase it. Meanwhile, Valenciaga was under fire for launching a sexually um, charged campaign which exploited children. Okay? It's a reason why they came out. The people in power, they use their children to get money as well. Know it. To keep that generational wealth going. Which is what we should be doing. It's doing, but y'all too ignorant. You'd rather get up, go spend $300 on a pair of draws because Ralph Lauren made it. And you're going to take a picture on social media like somebody gives a fuck. Because I ain't wearing Ralph Lauren every day don't mean I ain't got a closet full of that shit. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? Do you understand? Do you understand where I'm coming from? Y'all worried about the wrong thing, both old and young people. Y'all got the older people doing it now. Nails. Fucking lace fronts. Makeup. Y'all got the older people into the same, into this demonic stuff that's going on. Do you hear me? Thinking, oh, if I don't have a Valenciaga bag or a shirt, I'm not the shit. I'm a broke bitch. For example, let me let me give it to you. Mulatto. Brokey. Like, let me explain something to you. There is nothing funny at all about that shit that she made. She talking about y'all broke dumbass. You can't take a trip unless your birthday fucking passed. Now we can we can we can do a we can um book flights now because my you know what I'm saying my birthday coming so that's the only fucking trip your broke ass can take this summer. Y'all better pay attention. Y'all getting these celebrities rich too. Every time you click on their video, you pay for a description or subscription or you 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 buy their album. The fact that you're singing their music, making a video to their shit, TikToks to their shit. Y'all getting the rich? Did y'all see how the video was promoted? She had that girl supposedly. And that could be could be for PR. That girl probably did end up losing her job for, for for being in that restaurant, her and the other employees, and playing with that money and shit like that. Then she ended up actually getting featured in a mulatto video. Do y'all see how it easy it is to manipulate y'all? How easy it is? And boom, here y'all are singing it, doing the challenge. You know what I'm saying? It's about money. She does good promo. But if you ask me, she's garbage. She's trash. She's a sex symbol for the industry. Okay? When she was on that show with uh, Jermaine Dupri, I can't think of it, and all them people was about to become famous and things of that nature or whatever the case may be. You know? All I could think was... She's going to be a sex symbol. That's why JD chose her. Because he knows she'll do whatever it is by any means necessary to stay at the top. You went from that little young innocent girl to rapping innocently. And then boom, right to sex. Now you're wearing this provocative shit. You're wearing leopard, zebra, all this other shit. You looking like you a part of the agenda. Like you sold out to stay where you are. If you ask me, she's not... She shouldn't be up there like that with the other artists. I, I'm just keeping it a buck. I don't see how you got famous. You feel me? Like even the raps is starting to feel like. I mean, whether she writing her own stuff or not, I just get the feeling of it just her just being demonic, like. Period. She's a part of the agenda. She's a puppet for the industry. And I'm going to leave it at that. But yeah, I wanted to talk about, for example, Balenciaga and how y'all, if y'all stop putting y'all money and time and effort into these communities, you'll have more. No matter what your race or gender or ethnicity is, you would most definitely have more. You ever sat here and wonder how these people from other countries, the Arabs, the Chinese, the Korean, um, <clears throat> the just whatever how they come over here <laughs> and they put stores in our neighborhoods their businesses in our neighborhoods make their money and go back to their country 
Do y'all not see what's going on? We ain't got much because we lack. We got that lack mentality, that lack mindset. Um, very disobedient. <laughs> Can't hear God's voice. Stubborn, set in your ways. Okay, wanting to do what the fuck you want to do when you want to do it. Oh, it's hand. You know your family needs some type of wealth, generational wealth, some type of something left behind, whether that's land. I don't give a fuck. Y'all need to have something that you own. You feel me? Why is it that everybody else has everything and then when you look around and none of y'all have nothing? No businesses in, in a community. Nobody wants to work. Nobody's working together. Everybody trying to get ahead of everybody. Everybody competing with everybody. And it's not even a race when we should be sitting right here like Jesus did and sat down with this fish and these five loaves, these two fish, and stretch that shit out. But when you ain't been nowhere, when you don't know nothing, when you don't got street smart, book smart, none of that, and when you're educating yourself, for my people perish for lack of knowledge, <laughs> then you'll see why these people got what they got and you ain't got nothing.